Have you ever wondered what's inside an artist's mind? Join the MAC in Rancho Cordova to preview an exhibit where you can discover this. Here to tell us more about the art exhibit is Cheryl Gleason. Welcome to the show, Cheryl. Thank you for having me. Well, at the MAC, you're in charge of the events and, and kind of coordinating all the things that are coming through the center. Talk about the MAC and how it supports not only Rancho Cordova, but the entire region. So uh, the MAC is based on a grant from the city Measure H uh, Community Enhancement Fund. And that was proposed um, as, as a ballot measure some years ago as a increase in a half a cent sales tax that the uh, community voted for. And so the community's already paid for it. So everything we do is free at the MAC for the community to enjoy. And, and, and for people who don't know what the MAC is, what is the MAC? So the MAC is the Mill Station Art and Culture Center. And it's actually uh, a building that has been a cornerstone in Rancho Cordova before Rancho Cordova was Rancho Cordova. <laughs> and it was the township of Mills. It was, it was built in 1911. So now you're able to have events, um, exhibits, just all yes. kinds of things coming through the building to share with the community. And there's an art exhibit Tell me about that. That's why you're here. Yes, Jesse Reno. So Jesse Reno, uh, the show is called Ascension. And he is uh, from Portland, Oregon. And he was voted number one visual artist in Portland in 2017. Wow, we're seeing some of the pictures here. So pretty amazing art, huh? He is absolutely uh, the calmest, um, chill, <laughs> kind of artist you would ever imagine. But his art, seeing it on the images in a book or on a screen, do not do them justice. They are amazing. So you Absolutely have to amazing. see it in you person. You have to it see them like in you're person. In awe. I am in awe. Uh, yesterday when we were hanging the show, uh, it was extremely inspirational. Wow. So what are you hoping that, you know, visitors and people who do come through and take a look at his exhibit, what are you hoping they get from it? Well, I think that he's got a very unique style. Um, and I think that a lot of the, the words and things that he does around surrounding his, his imagery, I think they'll get a different sort of look. It's a bit of a primitive contemporary is kind of what he calls it. Uh -huh. um, I consider him an um, intuitive artist. He starts with no concept in mind. He just, he goes from his emotions and you know, he'll put some things on the canvas. He uses his hands a lot. He paints a lot with his fingers, sticks, whatever uh, comes to mind. And it's just amazing what transpires once he's finished because they do not start and finish the same way. And you said this is called ascension. So yes. how would you describe the overall theme of what, you know, all the pieces so feel like? This is, this is, I think, a good basis for him as an artist, how he's ascended from being someone who's never taken an art class, was highly inspired at age eight when he went to visit the um, Natural History Museum. Uh -huh. And a lot of the, the iconographic imagery that you see is from that when he was eight years old. Wow. And some of the imagery as a skateboarder at you know age 12. So he's been painting for it's kind of like 20 his years. Evolution. It's his evolution. It sounds really exciting. And it's it's his becoming an artist. I mean, he is now 20 years. He's made over 4,000 paintings. Um, he's a, he's really quite inspirational. All right. So if people want to check out some of his work, when does the exhibit start? The exhibit starts tomorrow night. Our opening exhibit with the artist is uh, 5:30 to 8, and he's going to be doing a live painting demo at the reception and then we're open Fridays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays for the next two weeks. Okay, awesome. Well, hopefully uh, some of people will get out there to see some oh, of this Oh, I hope they do. Work. Thanks for being here, Cheryl. Thank you. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.